Welcome everybody here to the Mount Hermann Charity Tournament. This is the Grand Final. And, well, what a big one we have here. We have Priest Gaming against London Conspiracy. We have been able to fight it all out. London Conspiracy was able to get through to the uh, upper bracket here. Defeating Priest 2-1 to one in the semi-grand finals. And then Priest had to take out Inso. They did so in a pretty uh, nice fashion. Making it some short games and just turning them into mincemeat. Oh yeah. Uh, you had to guess that one. <laughs> it was not fun. It was not fun. <laughs> Having that said, this is for the charity called Save the Children. Make sure to check them out. Donate there as well. Just give those, uh, give them some love there. And with me, as you can already hear, is Morality. I'm Sender, and uh, we're actually having some uh, giveaways here, some Arcanas, I believe. Oh yeah, lovely little Arcanas to give away. DM if you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, PA right now. If you go for the raffle, which has not started yet as of talking, but should start once the draft goes. So yeah, now it's open. Indeed, I just opened it up and it should be uh, going now. So everybody, good luck with joining the raffle there. Oh dear, it's already going. It's already <laughs> going. Oh my god. Okay then, <clears throat> let us begin then. Yeah, they we're not going to see the new uh, Oracle. Oh, kind of bad about this. Oh, you know, it's... To be honest, you pick him correctly. It's uh, playing. I'm uh, having played against him in a few pubs before this. It's been incredibly infuriating. Because Oracle still has the same abilities as in just being able to save a carry and even make sure that the carry can keep on doing so much damage. It's horrible, horrible to play against. Especially versus a coordinated team. And in this case, we have two very coordinated teams. So I think they made the right call here. Banning out the Oracle first. Yeah, it's uh, just something that you don't really want to deal with. That said, we've seen a surge coming back with the Invoker here, and this game is not going to be anything else. The Invoke buffs is just... Cold Stack level 1? Alacrity? No, not Alacrity. Well, Alacrity is too good. But I mean, if you go like Wex Exalt or something, you've got Alacrity level 2, which is... Okay, that's a bit too much. Jesus. <laughs> It's, it's just so hard, and they're already setting it up with a strong minus army here coming out of the slaughter. So, and I oh. threw in the first uh, tip here myself, actually, to see if everything works. Yeah, top donator is not showing, that sucks. Well, it doesn't matter. The top donator will, by the way, get the arcana. You just saw the pop up there. It's now in one buck, so you need to make sure that you out donate me with at least one buck and one cent, or I might be the winner of the arcana. So you yeah, better make sure that you do that. Get it. Don't let's have to get it. Guys. Don't let me get it. Um, moving on. A priest banning out OD. Now, finally, some team has banned that OD, and I've been wondering why OD hasn't seen a resurgence in the pro scene because it just looks like such a strong hero with all his buffs. And the prop, I'm, I'm not seeing why teams haven't been picking up, uh, picking him up a bit more, considering he has been buffed. Very significantly, in my opinion. Five, like all you need to do is build attack speed and a bit of int, and you're already stealing like 50 int per just engagement. And well, that's also why, of course, now it's getting banned out. They just don't want to yeah. get it in the first phase. As if you put a mid or anywhere else, there are still ways to deal with him then. And you just don't want to give something easy away. It's an hero. It still needs a lot of harm. It still needs a lot of time. Don't need a lot of time, of course, but still, he's very, very strong. And he's strong earlier as well, which is something to be considered. Hmm. Meanwhile, LC picking up a lot of lane support here. Vengeful and Bane. <laughs> that's something. <laughs> no, it's not something you want to lane against, that's for sure. Especially if you've got something like a Skyroth Mage, he's going to blow up. And yeah. I don't think Skyroth will be laning against the Vengeful and Bane. Yeah. That's a, it, even if you put the slaughter there, it's not going to be fun. They pick up something reading here with the bounty hunter. Just want to make sure that they can spot out the rotations with this bane eventual. Keep a close yeah. eye on that. Also, just having Lina in the mid now. If you just rotate in with the bane or eventual, you have pretty much a guaranteed kill oh. on the invoker every single time. There's nothing he can do apart from just die and accept his loss. Even the Skyrath won't be able to help that much. Like, what can he do for a few arcane bolts? Maybe get a return kill, great, but you've lost it, the invoker, that's the main part That's the main part of the whole thing. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, if you can get an ACNC off in time on Lina, then yeah. But if you have to TP it, you're already too late. You're not a dazzle, so... 
dire team back. I guess it's probably. So... No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just looking at the bands. Those are being banned out last for London conspiracy. Of course, I'm, I can understand that. No carry for being picked up for Priest just yet. Still open. They are missing the PL. So this is something you actually also see for LC, uh, the uh, Chen now. Going for this little bit more early pushing uh, strats with... You know, with strong, still strong lanes here, but still just go 5 men pretty early and just try to get as many towers down as possible. And yeah, just force the other team to just go with your pace. It was like the old Navi strategy, always picking up Chen, always doing the set, being a bit more aggressive, taking down towers early, and forcing the team into positions they didn't want to be in. And I do enjoy looking at a good, uh, watching a good Chen because, um, you know, micro is always nice. Good micro is always nice to look at. And bad micro is always fun to see. Yeah. <laughs> Though it's, I it, I'm not expecting that here. No, really. So, Priest, final hero, I'm going to say probably a carry. And it. Um, thing is, which carry? Uh, PL is still in the pool. You don't really want to pick a PL. Like. Yeah, not really. Although, is, yeah, nothing is really that good here. Could maybe go for a Sven, because the lockdown on Priest's side, well, there, it feels a bit... It is there, happy, shall we say. Yeah, it's there on the Slard and the Invoker, but then Skyrim Major Bounty Hunters both... Well, Skyrim yeah. the support. Yeah, but... The only real lockdown is Ancient Seal. Yeah, for me, but slow. if Priest pick up a, a core position 1 here, that doesn't mean they're playing against a Skyrim and Bounty. Nah. That's the other side. No, 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 that, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, yeah, Prius, they need probably position one here, or Slarda might be it, and then they run something else in the offline. Maybe that go for Clockwork or something. Beyond the meta. Yeah, it's, it's doable though, if you can get the Invoker to a good start, but then you need to have Bounty Hunter roaming at mid all the time. Yeah, because you see, uh, as we discussed earlier, the two lane supports from the side of uh, London Conspiracy are just... They're able to rotate easily, they're able to pick up kills on the mid very easily. The question is, is how they're gonna do it though. But Selena is gonna be mid then. Lone Root is most likely gonna be in the offlane, Chen in the jungle. So that means farming Fench. I've, I've seen. And then Priest. Priest. No way. Who did it? I think Enzo did it the last time I casted them. It failed horribly, but. Uh, Five seconds remaining. You know, maybe they can make it. Oh my god. Thank what you very that? much for that one. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> came in perfectly timed, the PL. Jesus um, Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Why is, it, why is my soundboard on? Jesus Christ. Okay, something just fell down at me, guys. Hit my keyboard perfectly to activate the uh, soundboard. I am sorry about that. That was, well, a nightmare for me. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I've turned the soundboard off now. Did I even have it on in the first place? I'm not even sure. Okay, so they pick up a PL. I said that we... I, I, thought, it, I thought they were going to pick up a PL because really he's one, one of the only stronger carries left in the pool at this point. As in, Ben works, but he's not really... You know, you can counter him easily. Uh, you can kite him around very easily if he doesn't get the stun off correctly. Here the PL. Uh, well, let's just say PL. We all know... How cancer PL can be in the late game. Even in the mid game. Once he gets his defusal up. And versus this team, a defusal can probably help a lot. True. It's not the biggest amount of stuff to purge though, but still. It can do so much for a team. Oh my console doesn't work, it kinda sucks. <laughs> I just reinstalled Dota because I had some bugs. Everything on the top here was green, it was really awkward. At least everything is working now. We do have a bit of a pause here because Spawn has uh, SDC'd. Let me check Sky Brew Pause if he sent me a message. Nope, so he will just be back fairly soon. And I think this is going to be a very interesting game. We'll see what LC is going to do with the uh, now new and improved Lone Druid. Yeah, I'm interested Brute. to see the, the new uh, skill. I hope he doesn't pop it while Entangle is on. That would be awkward. Oh yeah, that probably would not work that well, would it? No, 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 no. He just stands still then, and just... <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work. Okay, seems everybody is ready here, and Pwn wants to join the <laughs> raffle as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he gets close to that one. Let's see. Uh, is he ready? It seems that Priest is not 100% ready yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the grand final here. The Mount Hermann Charity Tournament. And it's between Priest and LC. It's a best of three. And the winner of it will take home about... Was it? 150, 60 euros. And everything else will go straight into the Save the Children. Donations pool. And uh, it's about 450 or so then. Make sure to donate some bits. The highest donator of today will win the Zeus Arcane. At this moment, the donation amount is just one buck. If you go and over one, you win it. <laughs> Even if you do one, you will get it over me, so... Make sure to donate. Just, <laughs> you know, just, just, just donate 1.1 1 .1 cents and make his life miserable. <laughs> Even Bye. one is good enough. It's all fine with me. With me is Morality, I'm Sander, and uh, everybody is ready into the game here. <sighs> Alright then. I've noticed something. LC, they might be doing some 4 Protect 1 thing. Really? 4 Protect 1? Protect what? The Lond uh, the yeah, the Lone Druid. Well, it doesn't Although, seem like it. Since he just spawned an Iron Talon. Never mind, Thought Process was there, but uh, that's interesting. Kinda yeah, surprised he didn't put it on the bear. Well, I might. I might put it on the bear. Not even sure. I'm not even sure what he's doing now. Pop with Lone Druid on his own. It's a bit risky, no. He's gonna be the offlane, so it's... He might just do some kind of pull later on with Spare Bear, just get drag the Creep Wave all the way back down. Straight into his own tower. Yeah, and up to the camp maybe even. Yeah, there, there are a lot of ways to, to do it. I wouldn't pull pull to the camp though. It also opens up to an easy gank. Oh. I, I wouldn't that's do now that. asking you to change back to green. I made a, I made a poll, people. People wanted desert, so we put it as desert camo. I'm sorry guys, it's, it's not my choice. Guys, the poll is so open. Can you reopen the poll for the second game? Right, you guys I'll can vote what, what you want. What you want. I'll reset the poll. I'll the poll will be reset poll. for the second game. I can change it. I have absolutely no problems with doing so. I like the old one more myself. But the early voters, they picked it. Yes. Let's see. Ooh, Chilipi. Ah, there's no warp on him, so he should be okay. We'll just eat some arrestments. There you go, he should be okay. Doesn't mean that Sinegita is not gonna make his life miserable though. All the way back. So yeah, it's gonna be what I expected to be. Bane is most likely because he's gonna be just rotating around. Looking for an easy kill somewhere. Set and it up. Was, then he got with the bounty will probably also be looking for an easy kill somewhere. Or at least or... just steal the experience and block a camp from Biver. Maybe if he's lucky, even grab a courier. I don't think he will ever grab a courier. Nah, they'll probably they'll probably they probably realize the threat. I mean that was the one reason you pick bounty. You saw it so often in like 6.82, I believe. Here, this Ooh, is the, the one I talked about, use. by the way. The pool here just dragging it all the way back. That's not good. And they're just pulling not it up good here. At all. Yeah. Yeah, Biffer is not having fun. He took over a purge group as well. So it's not I mean, purge well. can be used for harass in the mid lane, but the problem yeah, is it's here, a bit. <laughs> he just keeps going. He doesn't care. He actually he has to look out a little bit. Yeah, okay, Lina's coming in for some help. With the courier as well. That has the bottle? No, health bot. It's gonna keep it safe over there. But yeah, with this, Senegata, he's just ready for the return on the courier. He almost like to just wait for that, maybe give some space here to Biver. Who is low though? He has to look out. If he runs into slaughter, he might just die. I don't think Bone has... This is not a great start for the Bane, yeah, for the Bane, for the Chen though. This is um, not yeah. what you want to be happening as a jungler. Yeah, but this is really just the counter pick coming out here from Bounty Hunter against any junglers. It just punishes so hard, it gives him easy experience as well as just making your life terrible. Although, he still doesn't have a single experience point. Oh. Uh, like bounty, that's kind of weird if you think about it. <laughs> just harassment pure from the bounty. And it just hurts so much. It's here, look at this. He has to go back to the base right now. He doesn't really have any other choice. Ooh, so strike is strike. Miss. Baby Knight will come in here. And the Patani Gods will be get, able to get out pretty easy. The bounty at this point of the game, invisibility equals invincibility. Yeah. But it, look at this. A two, two point three minutes in. Two and a half. You're. You don't even have level 2 on your Chen. That's, that's just not what you want. Uh, not at all. 
Although you can be happy, at least the Lone Druid is getting something. Even though it's not too much. He got level 3 already, I think. Yeah, Slarger still got level 2 as well. But he's getting less. Solon is, you know... It's a bane. It's Ooh, just so hard. rotation to coming up top. This could be Lone Druids. They start to turn him up a bit. I think Zenigard just has to wait for a bit. No, they actually want to force this one? They can't. There you go. Synergy is popped. Yeah. You call it Synergy, right? No, damn it. Savage Roar. Roar. Damn it. <laughs> synergy was the old one. I don't get that spell, to be honest. It gives the enemy movement speed, and what's the, what's the significance for you? For Synergy? No, for Savage Roar. Yeah, but it throws them away from you. Like oh. you saw there, they ran in with three. He pops it, and they all have to back off, so making that, you know, you can't really gank him. I need to look at his spells a bit more closely. Oh, yeah, well. you should. <laughs> Maybe not. See, Lone Druid isn't played too often in pubs. Depends on your level. Why don't you... Okay, let's <laughs> say unranked pubs. I play it. Yeah, you do, but you're special in any case. <laughs> That's true. That's definitely true. But yeah, it says they're likely to build here in the early beginning for uh, justice. Ooh, As expected. Oh, it's actually caught out here. He's gonna get... Oh, the block's real. Sun comes out, and there's the Nightmare. Pone will be kept there for quite a while. Will they have enough to kill him, though, is the question. Well, uh, he's trying to juke and jive here. He's gonna end up with another crushing but Jellipy, one second for Magic Missile. That's Wave of Terror. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. He's gonna get him in the end. I was just waiting. Oh, Mango's popped Magic Missile, but he still had enough uh, vision over there. To get the first blood here, go in the way of LC. That was a bit of misplayed by the slaughter though, trying to hide in the trees, then getting blocked out by two supports. Well, not the support, Jellipy at the moment is the position one. Actually, that's a good point. <laughs> Just noticed. Good old the pub dream of carry vengeful. Uh, or the VP dream. Ah, uh, yeah. Or the Enzo dream. Uh, this is not Enzo, and oh, bone, it doesn't see it. Enzo completely failed <laughs> on that one. Uh, sorry to say. Oh, Jellipy is trying to set up the gank here on Pone. He's gonna walk around it. But. Yeah, but yeah. What? If he actually walked oh. like this, he might have actually been able to catch him off, but. There's Thing a first group wave. What's the follow up then? Pone can just run back. I don't think there's enough damage to actually kill him at this point. Maybe they want to set up something themselves. United did receive a buff, so. Might be able to do something, but still, against these two heroes, it's just too hard. They can just stun one, nightmare the other, and just get the hell out. But look at this, they're gonna be TP coming in for Skyrap now. Bone is still taking a lot of damage, has to run away. And this enters Solon. Oh, he has been Asian sealed up. But he has Brain Sap and he's just turning it around to Zenigata. But now comes out the crush. They will turn it into one for one. But what can Jellipy do here? <laughs> oh, the, the creeps see him. This is gonna kill him off. And now Bone has to run the other way. He has Sprint in one second. There's gonna be Magic Missile as well. Oh, he pops the mango. He's able to get off the crush. Magic Missile, is this gonna be in range? It's no. not. That was well played by Pone. The Jukes, the real. Mango play as well. This will force Pwn back, though. So, all in all, I think mission successful for LC. They now have six on Jellipy, so... Definitely, definite game for LC here. Even though Pwn was able to get out, definitely game for LC. Because Pwn is not able to do much anymore. And now yeah. they even rotate the Chen to take down the tower. This could be a pretty devastating loss for Priest here. Yeah, they got the arrows. They got the Basilius, they got the Vengeful Aura, and um, they just start hitting down on it. They got the little skeletons walking around, the bone is still 140 HP. So if he shows himself, he just gets killed. He has to hide. They need reinforcements. They're not coming. They're trying to set something up here in mid, and they do find it. Or able to kill Lina. At least getting some kind of return here, but still. It is one already down. That. It's an offlane tower, so it's not the uh, highest priority of towers, of course, but the problem is this denies them a bit of rush control for the later game. Oh, Kefka is found. They're gonna go start running after him, but there's no spirit lens to slow him down anytime soon. We'll be able to just be okay over here. Oh, for the raffle, the winner will be announced after the complete best of three series. Level three will be there for your. Uh, about it. Oh no! They were so ready for it. They popped the dust and they kill him off. Oh, that's not what you wanted happening, Bounty. Yeah. Not at all. And, and they, they even smoke up. So I don't think they don't have any vision over there. No, they do not. They're able to get it off. Ooh, this could be actually devastating for the Invoker if he doesn't watch out. 
doesn't really have forward. any mana to escape from this. Oh yeah, they will just run instantly in. Oh, they're stacking over the skills here, but it doesn't matter. It's a burst. It's just too real. This sacrifice is tower for it. Well, Chad doesn't have any creeps with the combat. Oh, Solo though, one. on bottom. Does have a brain set, needs to get it off to stay alive. He's looking for a nightmare target, he will get it off on Pwn here, but they just take it over instantly with sending out here. Solo has to start running away, and he just pentas him down. Oh, this is the kill on him. And now they keep on going. Pwn gets the curse, oh. Biver will pay for this one. He buys uh, some mecha mechanism components, but in the end, it doesn't matter too much. Is Solo's maintenance? No, test of fate, what's wrong with me? It does surprise me a bit though that Chen hasn't leveled up his uh, pentiments. It has been buffed in the previous in the previous pass, so... But that, that's a standard build though. I mean, you didn't really ever go pentiment until like level... What was it? Level 10, I believe? And usually you go... What is it? 1... 1, 1, 2... And then just start maxing out either Test of Fate or go more points into conversion, so it's... It's kind of surprising. I'm I'm thinking he's just prioritizing Test of Faith at the moment because, I mean, higher levels will give you the easier hero oh, TP. Maybe not in mid though, they're gonna try and set something up on top of him. There comes out the swap, they're just trying to turn this one around as Giga just gets completely blown up. Swapped underneath the tower and just quickly taken care of. Yeah. Testament to the amount of nuke damage that LC can bring out and also the amount of just tower damage right now. Just look at this. Yeah, you lose two and you can't push, like, there's absolutely no real teamfight at the moment coming out from Priest. Look at that tower that is melting, though, just the amount of damage they have, with, not only the bear, but also to combine that with uh, Jellipy's Vengeance Aura, combine that with the uh, Auras from Chen. Horrible combo here to, to, for just pushing. Basically death ball right now. Indeed. Are they Luna Loser tier 2? 10 minutes in. Yeah, they have to watch out a bit. They already got off two amplified damages here. If they get three or four, they might just want to. They will be willing to go into it. Okay, I've got TPing out, not going to be stopped. How was gonna... a tier two 10 minutes in? Let's just let that sink in quickly. Yeah, and just like this, I can just start rotating in an arm. Go top. Oh, get rocks. Ooh, this might not be the plan here. Do they have any. Sm this? They have one. Oh, oh they find get rocks. Ooh. Quick double ganger out. That's the one thing also with the invoker build here. If you're playing against... At least that's what... Oh, no, no. Never mind on that one. Solon, he is gonna be found and the Sun Strike is not even gonna connect as any god already picked it up. And the orbital laser will not do much here. Although the, I, I'm not really getting this build. He went Exhort Quas. Why didn't he go Quaswex against a team which is obviously based around some sort of mana control? Yeah, and also just overall pushing. If you get a high level into Tornado, you just EMP alone. We'll just stop a push. Yeah. This is a weird build. Like Yeah, this is like this the split, this is split push. Like he's saying, you're going to be pushing one lane, I'm just going to split push another one. Yeah, but, but you until you get push as quick as yeah. the other team. <laughs> like, just look at them, they're melting through. To this is basically Death Ball all over again right now. Yeah. Oh, they missed it? time to smash there. But it doesn't matter as Pwn is still going to be found. He's not really able to initiate. He just crushes on the ground aggressively just to get the Spear Bear there. They're well, looking for probably it. Be able. That's a five they need control. Five. They need to control LC here. But they just keep on running. Finally, the slow comes out. Bear will need some get some entangles here on Justin. And he will get it, keeping him out. Pwn taking a lot of damage. Pwn will fall. It's already first one to go down here. Oh, the net has been hit. And Genrox is also fiend scripted up. And they even get out the hand of God. Oh, see, Everybody gets alive. Kill. Rotation in for Baby Knight. Justice is low. Justice is down. Swap back on Zany God. And he goes down as well. Five Baby men Knight. wipe. Oh, is that? The turnaround was real. And the free man. <laughs> a triple kill for freaking Viva. What happens when you give the Chen a triple kill? Well, I can tell you Guardian Greaves are going to be very quick this game. Indeed, they're just making some quick and easy work from this. Look at this experience, um, it's just climbing up and up and up. It's gonna be around 7.5k now, and the net worth is already well over 10k. You can see it back, position 1, Vengeful. 6k gold at the moment. Wow. 
astounding, really. Indeed. To be honest, at this point, I can say there's no real hope for Priest anymore. I mean, 10,000 gold difference at 12 minutes is not... Come back from... There's no real big items up yet. There's no real huge net worth, like, deficient, um, separations right now, so... There's not really a lot of comeback potential unless you have something like the bounty killing off the Vengeful, which in that case we could be bounty like 2k gold. But the problem Though, is they, they need his strike. They just need yeah. it. And he's not even level 6, I believe. No, he's just level, no, he's five. level 5. It's like, this is 30 minutes in, you need the bounty to have some levels. Put him on a lane or something, Jesus. At this point, there is so much gold on the side of LC as well. Once they push down the lane, they're gonna lose their career though. It's just an old alley. Did get that, but still, doesn't really give him any experience. Actually, he does. Huh? That's weird. I guess they did it. Oh, get rocks? They can't even fight against Kefka now. He's going back for an. Uh, it seems to be a Midas here. Oh, another entanglement now, get rocks. And the rotation comes in, and he's gonna go down here. This is just as easy setup that they need for Lina. Oh, well, this is something, at least Priest getting a return kill here, but they might as well just lose Hinegata here, so... Yeah, the dust comes out. Fit. No, no, oh, this no. is gonna keep Senegata. him back here. He's actually gonna get the track off, but no, Hinegata <laughs> will die. Yeah, the DD on ba Baby Knight is too much, <laughs> and oh, the Laguna Dragon Slave is too much for the poor, poor Skyrath mage here. And they just keep on rolling over them. They get one kill, they take two back. And in the end, it just goes barely back in favor of LC. Oh yeah, 100 gold is not going to make a difference at all on the net worth chat. Indeed, that's a this... lone root. It still keeps on farming here. Is he going back for... Look, this LC are able to take down Roche with just relative ease. Well, what's the anti-armor? That... All they really have is Wave of Terror, which is 6 anti-armor, which is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not too much. They just have a lot of things that are hidden there. Yeah. And Meteor comes out, but it's already too late. Oh, that's a very short range for Meteor, what the heck? Use is done, yeah, this is just one point in works without even looking, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that Kefka, wouldn't have done anything to... anyway. <laughs> Lena with the ether lens. Yeah, cruel. That's... Oh, <laughs> cruel. So just showed himself here, he's gonna be found. They can just oh. feed script him or do anything else here. They just go for the Nightmare together with the troll or summoner. And they will just kill him off. Helber smashed the bit too late off. again. Gets a track off. Gets two tracks off, which is okay. But, uh, what, what can they start with, this is the question. And the answer is probably not much because Gedrox is still very in the farm. So basically just a weak link of the entire team right now. And even with this, they're just already gonna go into the tier 3 here. And what can I do to stop it? The Aegis is ready on JLP. He can do some aggressive uh, swaps in here if he wants to. Trying to focus on a bit of Baby Knight, but he can just take a bit of step. Oh, they're coming! Nice two-man crush, but it's not the initiation they're hoping for. They need to go back, and with the ultimate that also popped. Good ult. No, this is not gonna work out at all. This means that, that LC is just gonna start running in. Oh, they're gonna get one. JLP comes out with the uh, swap here on Pwn. Uh, JLP, he might just take a fall here. Hand of Gold will keep him alive a bit longer, but he just has the Aegis. So he doesn't care too much. They're already three down on the side of Freeze. And this is GG. They know it. They can't stop it anymore. That was that. Yeah, that, that was that, that indeed here. 60 minutes in, LC, their aggressive spread is paying off as Freeze is not able to stop them. They need it too much. And they got it all too late. Well... This this um, is why I was saying, like, what, what do you need PL for? Like, it doesn't help you. You need something aggressive, but like a German I'm thinking maybe they wanted to try and delay into the late game, but the problem is in order to do that, what? they needed Invoker to press Quest Wex. Yeah, that would have helped a lot, but still, even then would have been enough. That's the question, like. And the thing is, his lone druid as well is incredible in the late game. Versus a PL with the Radiance up could be very devastating. Yeah, but still, it's just a lone druid, you know, then you're also yeah. against more. Like, in late game, yeah, Priest is stronger, but they're never, ever, ever gonna get there. Yeah. Not, uh, you saw it. They, I mean, LC was able to push through just consistently, and it was hard for Priest to even keep track. It's. Uh. It just didn't work. Also, another thing to mention on the stream 
We will be switching to no desert, as the poll suggests 75% of people do not want the desert camo. Okay, with that, I'm happy with that. Also, we have three Arcana giveaway giveaways going on here at the Mount Hermit Charity Tournament. We have uh, the Revel comment in the Twitch chat. You're gonna get a Phantom Assassin out of that one. We have the CM, you go to our Gleam thing. It's in the chat as well, Muba is spamming that as well. Go there for the Crystal Maiden. And for the Zeus, the highest donator of today will get that one. At the moment, the donation amount is just one buck. If you go for one buck, you're the one winning the Zeus Arcana. All Arcanas will be delivered on the, the 9th of January as we're then able to trade them. Having that said, we're going to go into the break skin and we'll be back with game number two in a, in a little bit. <laughs> 